When the, the first uh, people uh, discover the valley, uh, they find a place that was not very friendly. I mean, it was uh, cut off the rest of the world for nearly six months per year uh, because of the snow. Uh, it was uh, inhabited mostly by uh, wolves and bears. Some people think that it's still, still the case. And um, it was impossible to grow anything. Uh, there is a saying in the Valley des Joux, which is that uh, the only thing that you can grow there are stones. And uh, if you look at that, uh, that's the kind of uh, thing that you find everywhere. My mother's family actually comes from a place not unlike this one, quite like this one, actually strikingly so. Um, it's a valley high up, I think it's 900 meters. And, um, you know, you go over a pass like you do here. It's remote in the sense, certainly from today's perspective, um, from city perspective, everything's connected, right? But if you go to a place like this, you always go into a different world, which, despite all the changes, sort of sticks. The valley shapes the people, the people do shape the valley. There's a sense of respect for it. I think also where, where my mother comes from, because over time you realize, particularly today, the, the preciousness of these you know, resources, of a kind of untainted, if you will, landscape, as much as that is still possible. I, I wanted to find a way to, to combine some idea of pure uh, and extreme sophistication of mechanical system of a kind of um, even a kind of a scientific way of, of working and combining that with a kind of pure um, raw nature, violent nature, something quite 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 strong and those kind of two parts that seems to be impossible to combine, finding a way to I, I, I was feeling we, we could find a way to combine them. The point being is that throughout like what we call civilization, there is this sense of you know, being completely exposed to the elements in the beginning and helpless. The pictures I'm, I'm, I'm creating here, if you look at them without you know, anything that comes onto them or like is done to them later, they would appear, I think, somewhat romantic or, you know, very nat naturesque. But the actual work happens uh, for, the most, for the most part in the studio. Uh, most of it happens with all these technological instruments. The best way for this is to make a kind of mold of a real stone. Um, and, and for this mold, is, is this idea is, to, um, is not to go from a photography of stone, not to go from a vision of stone, but to be in contact directly with the real stones of the Valley Jew. You have to imagine that all those people, all those specialists of fake stone, come there were just like a kind of astronauts, uh, totally uh, wears in white with combination, with mask. Um, they just seem to, to, to arrive from the International Station uh, space. Um, and they put this kind of skin on the real stone. It's kind of white, uh, white skin. This is a mold itself, made out of silicone. And uh, they paint the stone to take the, the perfect print of the stone itself. Like if you're in a city, I mean, versus in a contrast to a big city, like in, the, in a city there's like what you would, would, you could call distractions. Like you could keep busy every day with meeting people, looking at things, going out, you know, just all of that. Um, if you're in a place like this, I think uh, there's more of a space within, but still, there's something about the proximity, I think, to nature and also the, the force of nature that gives you a different sort of mindset, a different, you know, focus. For sure, in, in, this, in this project and in this processing of building the, uh, the stone and the mineral lab, um, 
it's a quite it was a quite complicated way of processing, um, very long, and we, we need um, the studio and the engineers and the technician need to be quite um, confident but obstinated in the, in the final goal. Um, we, could, we, could do, we could do simpler than that. Um, but one of the beauty of the project and one of the beauty of this endless quest of uh, the human race is to keep this obstination and to, um, to, to, to be not focused on the constraint but just focused on the goal and, and the final goal. And, um, and for me all, the, all this sophistication, all this complication of the process is part of the beauty of, 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 uh, of, of the project.